I'm Laura Pareka, and I help people improve getting their message across. So you might be thinking, well, I've got the best presentation, so I'm gonna win. This is an easy one, I've got this. But the reality is, and it might be hard for you to hear this, the reality is it's not the best presentation that wins the bid. It's the best communicator. Think about that for a little while. The person or team that communicates the best gets the job, gets the bid, makes the sale. Why is this? Well, presentation is important, but we all know there have been times where maybe you or someone you know has had the best idea and it has not gone across very well, therefore they didn't get the job. So it kind of seems like it's rigged and it's not fair, but it's all about human relations and how the brain works. I've studied a lot about brain-based research and I'm here to tell you some of the tips you can use to make sure that you get your message across. Are you ready? Tip number one, only connect. Connect. How do you connect to the people that you are presenting for? Well, first and foremost, you need to know them. When I was a teacher, we used to say, get to know the learner. Well, you're the teacher, you're getting your message across, and you need to know your learner. You need to know what kind of a person they are. Think about it. You'd do a presentation for a bunch of architects much differently than you'd do a presentation for, let's say, the community, if you were, um, if you were on a board presenting to the community. Your presentations would be very different. So you have to think about the audience. One of the things you can do is research Research the firm, the company, the audience, so that you know about them. That will help you, number one, feel comfortable, and number two, it'll help you to be able to bridge the gap between what you know and what they know. Because the learner has background knowledge, and you have to tap into that for you to be the one who wins. So that's your first tip. Get to know the learner and use that in your presentation. Actually, this all fits under the umbrella of communication and connection. So how do you connect to the audience? First, you get to know them. Second, you do things that are human. That's right, you're human. When I was a kindergarten teacher, I acted goofy and funny to connect to my kids. When I was working with leaders, I acted much more sophisticated. My language, my intonation, everything about me was different. Yes, I'm still the same person, but the way we communicate with different audiences is different. You wouldn't go up to someone in France and start speaking German because you would need to speak French. So think of it that way. You need to speak to someone in a language that they understand. So to recap, get to know your audience only connect, which means have some way of bridging that gap between what they know and what you know. And I'll give you another little tip. Use stories. Stories are sticky. Lots of my architect friends in my family and people that I work with one-on-one -on -one say, oh, people don't really care about my story. Well, either a piece of your story or a piece of your firm's story are important because it makes you human. It makes you likable. And you need to be likable to connect. So some little piece of your background, not a whole elaborate story. You're right, people don't wanna hear a whole elaborate story, but they do need to connect to you. So say something personal and personable, and guess what? Making fun of yourself, it works. It's a joke, say a little joke, have people laugh and lighten up, that works. Maybe saying some little tidbit um, about your background and why you became an architect in the first place. A tip if you're a female, don't talk about your family or show pictures of your kids. If you're a guy, you might even get some bonus points for bringing something up about what a great dad you are. But remember, make it brief. It's only to connect. Then you get straight to work with your dynamic presentation so that you can win the bid. I hope this helps and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.